Okay, so today we're going to be teaching you how to reset the password on a Windows 10 machine. This specific laptop is an Inspiron 15 5000 series. And the login screen here, we have an administrator account and a user account, both of which have a password that the customer doesn't know. This belonged to an organization that closed down and so the laptop became their property. And so now they would like to remove the password to be able to get back into it and use the machine. So in this case, it looks like we have a local account. There's two different types of users in Windows 10. There is the Microsoft account, uh, Live ID, and then there is the local account, which is the one that's not tied to an email address over the internet. So to reset this, we're going to use a free tool. This is going to require a USB thumb drive. We have this one here. This is a really old two gigabyte SanDisk cruiser. Um, you could also use a CD if you had one. Um, any USB drive will work as long as you are able to format it and um, be okay with losing all the data on it. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to try to download the utility that we're going to use. We're going to switch over to our main screen here. So the tool we're going to be using is called LazSoft. It's uh, L-A-Z-E-S-O-F-T dot com. So we're going to navigate to their to their website here. And we're going to go to download at the top. We're going to click on the download button. And a link for this is going to be in the description. They have a series of utilities for data recovery and cloning drives and stuff like that. Um, but we just want to use the password removal um, tool. So if we scroll down here, um, we'll see the... Last saw for cover my password. So we're going to download the home license edition, the home edition. This one is free, so it's nothing you have to pay for or anything like that. We're going to click on download. We're going to wait for this to complete. Okay, now when that's all set, we're going to run that. Hit OK, select your language, accept the terms of service. Install the software. And we're going to go ahead and launch the application. That'll bring you to this screen here, where it's going to allow you to burn the bootable media onto that USB drive or CD, whatever you have. So we're just going to go ahead and hit burn. At this point, you're going to want to plug in your USB drive. So again, in our case, we have this little um, SanDisk Cruiser. This is a two gigabyte drive. Um, you can use any drive or uh, anything above two gigs should work. It's going to ask you which version the target computer is. In this case, we have Windows 10 64 bit. Um, if you're if you know the OS, but you're not sure whether it's 32 or 64, you can go with the 32 bit option, um, which will be compatible with 32 and 64 bit. But since we know it's 64 bit, we'll stick with that. We're going to go ahead and again, plug in our USB thumb drive into our computer. Our computer will detect a new device. Now we can go ahead and hit next. And it's going to ask you how you want to use the media. You can burn it to a CD, you can burn it to a flash drive, or you can create an ISO image, which will create a um, image file of it. In this case, we want to burn it to our flash drive. So we're going to hit flash drive, and then we want to pick the drive letter. If you don't know the drive letter, go into your file explorer, go to this PC, and determine it from the list. In this case, our drive letter is F. So now that we made sure that we have the right drive letter, we're going to hit start. This is going to download and collect all the files it requires. It's also going to tell you that you're going to have to format the drive. Um, formatting is going to erase it. Since we don't care about anything that's on that drive, we're going to go ahead and hit yes. It will then format the drive and prepare the Windows media, which will contain all the software that's going to be necessary to recover the password. So we're going to let this run. It says it could take up to several minutes.
Okay, now that our recovery drive has been created, we get this screen here telling us that the wizard is finished. We can go ahead and hit finish and close this out. You can now eject your USB thumb drive. I'm going to do that here. And I'm going to, you can see it renamed it to Lassoft. So we're going to right click it and eject it. Take it out of the computer. I'm going to switch scenes here so you can see the computer. Now we're going to plug our USB thumb drive into any one of the USB ports on the computer. We're going to choose this one here. And this drive is nice because it has a nice light on the top to tell you when it's um, accessing the files. Now we're going to want to restart the computer to be able to boot from this media. So the best way to do that is to just restart the machine. Um, on Dell laptops, in order to get into the boot menu, you have to hit F12 at the Dell screen when it first turns on. For an HP laptop, that's F9. Um, for some higher end computers, um, it'll be like F11, like gaming machines and things like that. So we'll go ahead and since this is a Dell, we're gonna hit F12. We're gonna continue hitting this at the Dell screen. This will trigger the BIOS to pull up the boot, boot screen. It's going to ask us which device you want to boot to, and one of the ones in there now is the SanDisk Cruiser. So we're going to nav, uh, use the arrow keys to select that one and then hit enter. It's going to ask you which operating system you want to go to. You want the last soft live CD, so you can just hit enter right there. Now it'll load the files from the last soft software. You'll get this screen that looks a lot like the Windows 10 startup screen. Um, this is because that's what last soft is built on top of the Windows installer. You'll end up here. It'll ask you if you want to reset the password. You can go ahead and hit next. It'll warn you and tell you this is only meant for commercial, uh, non-commercial use. Since you have a home license, you can just go ahead and hit PS. You'll still be able to do everything, and uh, it still is free. Okay, you can hit next again. And now it's going to ask you which accounts you want to reset. So this will work for um, Live ID accounts, which are Microsoft accounts that are tied to the computer. And it'll work for local accounts. So it looks like in this case, the PWC user is a local account, and the administrator is enabled and it is also not a live id so because they have both we're going to go ahead and reset them both not a huge deal just select the user you want you can do one at a time hit next it's going to ask you uh, it's going to have this button here to reset and unlock you can click that give it a couple seconds here and it'll say the password is reset successfully now since there was two users we're going to go back and do the second one we're going to do the administrator as well we hit next Reset and unlock. You can now hit OK, and we're done. So we can go ahead and finish. Go down to this little Windows Start menu, and we can shut down the computer. It's going to ask you to save data if you have anything inside there, which we don't. So we can go ahead and hit OK. Okay, now that the computer's off, we can unplug that USB thumb drive that I had previously put into the laptop with the Laysoft software on it. Once the drive is removed, we can turn the laptop back on and the password should be removed. We're gonna turn the laptop on. This time we're not gonna hit any keys, we're just gonna let it boot up normally. Okay, now that the laptop's booted, it's decided that the PWC user was probably set to automatically log in as the default. 
So it looks like now it's gone ahead and done that automatically. And at this point, the password has been reset. We can see it's loading into the user, and so we've successfully reset the password. Now we're at the desktop, so we're in. And again, this doesn't delete any files. This doesn't change any programs or anything like that. And that's all you have to do. So there's nothing else you have to do, and um, that's how to reset the password on a Windows 10 machine. This also works for Windows 7, 8, and 8.1, utilizing the LaySoft Recover My Password utility.